I like to celebrate the arrival of spring and warmer weather with light, refreshing meals. And this rolled stuffed salmon is absolutely delicious and easy to make. And it's flavored with leeks and Swiss chard. Start with the leeks, trim off the root end, and also the dark green tops. These you can use for stock or for composting, of course. Just like that. Have it lengthwise, and then you can just line it up on your board and give it a casual chop. Now to get these clean, you can't just run them under cold water. So have a nice big bowl of cool water. Transfer them right into the bowl, and then you agitate. Just get your hands right in there, give them a good swirling. And while they hang out in here, we can work with the Swiss chard. I have one bunch of green Swiss chard, but you could use red or rainbow, any type you have or like. Just remove the tough stem, but don't throw it away. These are excellent. You can pickle them or grill them, saute them, they're delicious. And then the leaves just get a very casual chop. And you can see here how a bunch has broken down into a nice sizable bowl. And then for the leeks, we have to get them dry, obviously, before we put them into the saute pan. So line up a kitchen towel, clean, get the excess water off first, and skitter them right onto the towel. I have two leeks here. If the leeks you see in the store are smaller, just use three. Roll it up nice and tight, and that'll help to extract any excess moisture. A nice, good squeeze. Okay, I have my bundle of leeks and my bowl of chard. We're ready to start cooking. Now for the leeks. Start with a skillet preheated over high heat and add three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Let that melt. And then those leeks that we dried in the towel, get them in. And these need to soften and wilt and turn golden. That'll take about four minutes. The smell of leeks sauteing in butter is pretty intoxicating. Our leeks are looking golden and glossy. And now we can add the Swiss chard. This will break down very quickly. It will fill your pan, but not to worry. A few moments in here and it'll collapse. And this is a good time to season with salt and pepper, freshly ground. You can see that the Swiss chard is very quickly breaking down in the pan, releasing that moisture. And we do need this mixture to be cool before we stuff it into the salmon. So transfer it into a bowl or onto a plate. This looks great, smells terrific. We can get it down into the bowl. Next up, the fun part, the stuffing and rolling. Just one more step before we start stuffing and rolling, and that's our yogurt dressing. You'll need half a cup in a bowl, and to that, two kinds of mustard, two tablespoons of Dijon, and two tablespoons of whole grain mustard. Also garlic. This is two teaspoons minced. And soy sauce for salt and flavor, two teaspoons also. And just give that a good stir until it's all combined. This is gonna add lots of flavor. And for a little acidity, lemon juice, you'll want two tablespoons. That's about half a lemon. And give it another stir. Look at this beautiful salmon filet. This is a two and a quarter pound piece cut from the head end, and have your fishmonger remove the skin. That's very important here. And you'll want a long side facing you and a nice thin bladed sharp knife, very slowly and carefully having this lengthwise. This technique is called butterflying. You can go nice and slow to make sure you're evenly down the center of the salmon filet. And leave about a half an inch intact on the other end. We don't want to separate this completely. Okay, like that, and then you open it like a book. We want the skin side up. Now, quarter cup of the yogurt mixture is gonna be spread over the top. You can just eyeball it. The rest we're gonna use for serving. Spread it just about to the edges, and important to season salt and pepper, and lots of freshly ground black pepper right over the top. Next. One of my favorite herbs, dill. This is a quarter cup of packed little dill leaves. You can distribute that evenly all over the top. And last but certainly not least, the leeks and the Swiss chard. That also goes over the top evenly. You'll want to leave a little bit of a border because as we roll this up, things will be pressed toward the edges. So 
Give yourself a little bit of wiggle room here. Start with the long end that's closest to you. Slowly turn this up. Okay, tucking anything that peeks out at the end. So have some twine. You want about 10 to 12 inch pieces of twine here, six of them. And before you start tying, just get them all lined up evenly spaced so that everyone at the dinner table has the same amount of salmon. This will also help you to know exactly where to cut it into your pieces. And now we can tie these. Snug, but not too tight. We do want it to hold together, but we don't want it to be smushed or smashed. You could do this part in the morning and then keep it in the fridge and pop it in the oven just before you're going to serve dinner. At this point, you should have your oven preheated to 450 degrees. And take your knife and slice right in between each twine. And that'll give you your six portions. One last little presentation moment. More dill. Just little sprigs to tuck underneath each piece of twine. Just makes it prettier. This doesn't take long. 15 minutes. It'll be cooked through and just a little pink in the center, the way I like it. So transfer this to your baking dish, evenly spaced. You could use a 9 by 13 or a round. I'm using an oval here. But really, whatever you have handy at home is perfectly fine. For the finishing touches, a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, generous here, and a bit more salt and pepper. And into the oven it goes. Dinner will be on the table in 15 minutes. Our salmon is smelling and looking divine. Serve it alongside the remaining yogurt mixture and you have a beautiful spring meal. Happy eating.